Well, as we continue to see a very active monsoon season play out, there are some health impacts that we have talked about, the risk of blowing dust, uh, the, what can you find in the floodwaters. Here's something else, though. Can monsoon storms, thunderstorms, trigger an asthma attack? We're talking with our ABC 15 Health Insider, Dr. Shad Marvasti, about it this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Alani. So is that a real thing, thunderstorm asthma? Absolutely, actually. Um, you know, we're still kind of trying to understand um, some of the theories behind it, but it definitely is. We see that um, any kind of weather changes, uh, temperature changes, definitely when there's a lot of wind involved, even even without a thunderstorm, we got those haboobs here. Those are obviously triggers um, because you have more allergen exposure. Um, but specifically, thunderstorms has actually uh, been seen in the U.S., in Australia, and Europe. What happens? Why is it happening specific to a thunderstorm? So although we think of like rainfall itself as cleansing, um, what can happen in a thunderstorm is that you're going to get warm updrafts uh, of, of, of wind and, and temperature changes. Basically, you get the that because of the electrical and osmotic forces of the lightning um, base and sudden changes in humidity, all of these factors basically can cause a rupture of pollen grains and mold particles that are in the air. So usually the size of these uh, are typically too large to be inhaled into the lung where they can trigger asthma when they're just in their more natural state. But when they're ruptured, they actually break down in size and become smaller. And when they break down like this and they rupture, they can be easily inhaled into the lower airway and that can trigger asthma. Uh, and those people who have asthma and other allergic tendencies. Uh, and then basically, you know, then you're going to get an attack. So that's why it probably doesn't make sense for someone who's asthmatic to be out and about um, during the thunderstorms. Even if it doesn't rain, it's really the electrical activity. For people who already have asthma, many of them may be armed with, say, the inhaler, other medications, uh, but we're always looking for more natural things that we can do in addition to support that. Uh, so anything there that can be done if you suffer from asthma, whether it's triggered by a thunderstorm or otherwise? Well, first of all, you always want to have an asthma action plan. Um, and basically, you know, have regular access to your primary care doctor so that you recognize what state your asthma is in, right? So if you're requiring your rescue inhaler multiple times a week, you may need another type of inhaler, like a steroid inhaler or another inhaler that will keep the asthma at bay. Um, and so you want to kind of get a sense of where your asthma is at and what level of control you have. Um, we also know that exercising, um, can also help with lung capacity, also can help with asthma. Um, again, you do it in a graded fashion. You don't jump to, you know, go on to run a marathon, but, you know, kind of basically building on that. And there's also some interesting studies out there that have shown an anti-inflammatory diet like the Mediterranean diet, helping to reduce the incidence of asthma attacks because asthma is ultimately a disease of inflammation. And so just like heart disease is inflammation, diabetes is inflammation. Now, you know, with asthma, you're seeing in a low grade inflammation in your lungs. So things that are anti-inflammatory like extra virgin olive oil, eating more plants, eating more healthy fats, um, you know, from wild seafood and avocado and nuts and seeds, all of these are now seen to be associated with lower incidence uh, of asthma attacks in some studies. One thing that we don't think about because the air is all around us, and we don't see it, um, so we don't think about it, but getting that clean air, investing in a portable HEPA filter uh, where you live, I think is also important. And I like that idea of having an asthma action plan as well in case you're traveling. We might have people here who are visiting during monsoon and all of a sudden it triggers an attack when we're in the middle of a storm. So I think it's also really good information for people who might be wondering what, what's up with this? How come all of a sudden? So really important to learn this morning. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.